Hey guys, I've got a little bit of a different video today. It I don't want to bring anyone's mood down, but recently Misery Box has been uh, exposed for being a different YouTuber who has recently terminated, and that just brings something to mind. Uh, Illuminati did a video over the whole situation, so please go watch her video. I'm going to link it down below because it has a lot of interesting information, a lot of analytical stuff and evidence as well and within the comment section of that video you see many reddit youtubers contributing to the conversation and as a small reddit youtuber myself i decided well there's something that needs to be addressed here what can we learn from the whole situation assuming you watch the video already is that we need to hold people accountable accountability is ultimately what holds people together and I think, uh, especially in a community growing as fast as the Reddit community where channels are popping up left and right, it is hard, but we must be able to hold on to that. So remembering that the internet is pretty anonymous in what it does, we need to find a way to determine that what we are watching is genuine and comes from a good background, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And sometimes it's impossible to determine that and that makes sense, but to the best of our ability, we should be able to determine that the content we're watching is providing a benefit to the community that, you know, ultimately leads to uh, a good outcome, which clearly isn't what Misery Box is here. And I'm a bit disappointed to make this video because Misery Box is one of my, was one of my favorite Reddit YouTubers. In fact, he's in my channel description, which he's no longer because I decided to remove him. It, you know, it doesn't seem like the right thing to keep him on, but... Either way, remember to hold your creators accountable. In fact, creators need to hold their audience accountable as well, but it goes both ways. It's a two-way street, and hopefully we can keep this community growing as fast as it is, or at least, you know, as alive as it is, as it is, as it is excuse me, because it's a good community and I really like it, but I... The, the mood shouldn't be too far down here, you know, we've, the situation is being taken care of, it's just a bit disappointing to know that someone who almost seems like a representative of the Reddit YouTube community since they're so big is, turns out to be this person that we didn't want them to be, but either way guys, uh, I hope you were able to understand my analytical blabbering here, and if you've made it this far into the video, I think Thank you sincerely for watching this far and trying to learn about the whole situation because staying educated about this stuff is pretty important to be able to make, you know, opinions that are well informed. So, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be releasing videos as usual right after this. This video didn't take too long to make. I just wanted to make it because I felt responsible as a Reddit creator myself to address it since it's such a big thing that's happening. And uh, hopefully... You guys learned something as well once again and i guess you know i'm just i'm just gonna end the video right here because i don't know how to end videos